Just pick up a new MacBook Pro? Well, here are some great accessories to help take your new Mac experience to the next level. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Before we get started, I do wanna point out that some of these items are 16 inch MacBook Pro specific, but a lot of them could also be used with pretty much any Mac out there. The new 16 inch MacBook Pro is a fantastic and powerful machine, but there are a few shortcomings that you will need to overcome. And one of those is literally the short distance that you have from the wall outlet to your Mac. Back in the good old days, Apple used to include one of these bad boys, a very helpful extension cable that plugs into the charging brick of your MacBook. But unfortunately, you'll have to pick one up nowadays for $20. There are tons of different third-party options for about half the price, but when it comes to charging and a machine that costs a few thousand dollars, I'd highly recommend picking up a first-party cable. While the extension cable isn't necessarily a fun accessory to talk about, it's definitely a necessity, just like a backpack or a sleeve for your new MacBook Pro to help carry it around and to protect it. I've been asked a lot about whether the new 16 inch MacBook Pro fits inside of most backpacks that are designed for the 15.4 inch. And I'm happy to report that yes, they most likely should fit. Now I can't promise you that all backpacks that are designed for the 15 inch fits, but pretty much all the MacBacks that I own can personally fit the 16 inch MacBook Pro, like this awesome in-case Icon Lite backpack. It's an extremely basic backpack, but I really like its sleek and minimal look. You have three zippered small, medium, and large compartments that you can gain access to from the front. And then there's a few extra pockets on the inside to help hold all of your tech and personal items safely and securely. The main sleeve for your MacBook Pro is obviously located inside the largest zippered pocket, and it's lined with this faux fur-like material that just barely fits your 16-inch MacBook Pro, but hey, it fits, so that's all that matters. The entire back is wrapped in Incase's Woolenex material. That's an ultra-durable polyester fabric that is basically really good at deflecting any kind of moisture, and it's also resistant to stretching or shrinking. For only $50, it's definitely a lightweight, great-looking backpack option for your new MacBook. Now, if you want to go with a more minimal approach and just tote around your MacBook Pro in a sleeve, you should check out the Native Union Stow Sleeve. The outside is made up of genuine leather and a durable fabric to give it this really premium look and feel. And there's a quick access pocket to store a few accessories like your power cable. The inside is where you'll throw your machine in and lug it around town in order to prevent any knocks or scratches. Honestly, it's a little overpriced in my opinion at $80, but it is a really well-crafted from what seems to be very good materials. And as someone who's used cases like this for a fraction of the price, something that I've just picked up on Amazon that have easily fallen apart after a month or two, I do agree that you kind of get what you pay for. So it might be worth checking this out in order to properly protect your new investment. Our next few accessories really help those who use their new MacBook Pro in more of a desktop-like capacity. And something that I always recommend to people is if you're looking to pick up this machine and you use it docked in one location most of the time, perhaps it's not a wise idea to invest a ton of money in upgrading the storage where you can just pick up external storage for much cheaper solution. And the too big dock Thunderbolt 3 from Lassie is an incredible value. It not only has two swappable drive bays located on the front of the device, but also since it has dock in the name, it also has dock-like functionality. Like there's a USB type A port and a CF and SD card reader located on the front. And then on the back, you have a USB-C 3.1 and two Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports alongside a display port to make this the perfect all-in-one storage and connectivity device for me. The most intriguing thing about this dock is that I have 20 terabytes of RAID storage available for like a little over $1,000. Now, if we compare this to the MacBook Pro, which you can only do at the time of purchase, you can top out at eight terabytes, which is great, but it'll cost you around $2,200. So clearly you can see the $1,200 in savings for an additional 12 terabytes of storage that you would get with this dock. Now I do understand that the MacBook would come with eight terabytes of blazing fast SSD storage and that this dock uses regular 7,200 RPM hard drives, 
But with the Thunderbolt 3 connection to your Mac, transfer speeds have been more than adequate when transferring over hundreds of gigabytes of raw video files. If you're not always on the move, this could be a great option for you to check out. For those looking to use their MacBook Pro with an external monitor, you might need a new keyboard and mouse to go along with that. And the Logitech MX Keys and MX Master 3 is hands down my favorite combination. The keys on the MX Keys keyboard are soft, fluid, and extremely easy to type on. And it really not only helps my speed, but my accuracy. The keyboard is also backlit, comes with all of the useful function keys that you might need, and the ability to pair and swap easily between three different machines. Also, Logitech Flow capability is included with this keyboard. So if you're using the MX Master 3 or any Flow enabled mouse along with the MX keys, you can easily transition your mouse and your keyboard from one machine to a completely other machine in one fluid motion. It even works from Mac OS to Windows, which is crazy to think about. Speaking of the MX Master 3, which is the follow-up to the extremely popular MX Master 2, you're getting the same sleek design and comfort that you're used to, but with a better scroll wheel with mag speed, electromagnetic scrolling, custom function buttons to help map the tasks that you need to access quickly and easily, as well as a new thumb scroll wheel. You can take advantage of all the customization and features inside of the app, and both the keyboard and mouse are expected to last you up to a few months of use and can be charged via a USB-C cable. Now, I personally love the MX Master 3 and MX Keys, and it's really the perfect combination to add to your setup. Also, I definitely recommend picking up the MX wrist pad. It's extremely comfortable and helps alleviate a lot of that pressure that's put on your wrist when you're typing for long periods of time. Although some of these accessories were specific to the 16 inch MacBook Pro, like I mentioned before, a lot of them can be used on pretty much any Mac that you might have. And if you're interested in any of these products, go ahead and check out the links in the description down below. Also, be sure to let us know what Mac accessories you must have for your setup down in the comments too. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.